Brandon Podziemski speaks on his sideline interaction with Steve Kerr after one of his three-point fouls. Check out the video. One, um, you and Steve kind of had a long conversation on the sideline. How, you know, what exactly was that about? I think some of it seemed to be you guys were maybe debating whether to review it. No, he was just like, uh, if you didn't foul him, let me know. If you did, um, you know, let me know that as well. Um, but it was more so he was just kind of getting on me to, to do my job, know what I'm supposed to be doing out there. And he's like, if you can't do your job, I'm going to pull you out. And I think, you know, I followed it up with a, a floater, a drop kick swing the legs for, for the wing three, and then a pull-up jump shot. And, and so uh, he just got, got on me a little bit, which, you know, I'm all for. I'm trying to get better. Um, he knows he can get on me, and I'm not going to, you know, respond emotionally, and I'm just going to go out there and hoop. And, um, you know, amidst, amidst the, the bad things that, you know, are glaring because we lost, I think, me and the guys, we did, we did a lot of great things um, tonight. I think Moses was great. GP was great. Um, and so we're going to need that, um, especially, you know, playing the same team twice, two times. All right, we got it, Brad. You were particularly upset post-game. Was that about them not? Like, Braun seemed to... Yeah, Braun, Braun, uh, Braun called the timeout. He dove on the floor. He rolled over. Uh, everybody thought, except for the three guys we hired at the end games. And that makes me angry. You know, this is a, like, that's a technical foul. They don't have a timeout left. It's a technical foul, we shoot a free throw, we get the ball. We got a chance to win the game. They, they all told me they didn't see it. The guy's on the floor, rolls over, and he goes, timeout. It's up to the referees to see. Somebody's, that's why we have three of them. Somebody's got to see it. So, that, yeah, that made me mad. Uh, with that said, that's not why we lost. We lost because we didn't close again. You know, it's like the fifth game. In a row where we've, you know, maybe not all fives, but most of these games in this stretch, we're not closing, we're not executing, we're not making good decisions, and it's got to, it's got to improve. I mean, it was an 11-0 run. I mean, are you mostly blaming this on the offense, late? Yeah, yeah, we turned it over a couple times, um, but you know, the f fouling, uh, yeah. the three-point shooting, they, they shot 35 free throws. Um, so I, I thought we played uh, a hell of a game for the most part. The guys played their ass off. And they're trying, uh, but we can't send them to the line 35 times. And um, so I think we're trying too hard. I think you know, guys are closing out and um, we're closing out without any um, discernment about what, what's about to happen. You, know, you got to close out and challenge, close out to the side. The guy makes a shot, he makes a shot. But you know, we, we, can't, we can't send a team to the line 35 times and expect to win a game against a great team. So uh, we got a lot to work on. Um, proud of the guys for their effort. We had a lot of guys who really you know, came up big, played well. Um, but if we're going to be a good team, and I think we can be, um, we've got to learn to execute and close games. What is a lob when we're up 12 in the late second quarter that was frankly um, insane. Five on four. You just keep hitting singles. Throw the ball to the open guy. Uh, he had the same play last week against Brooklyn where he tried to throw a lob over his shoulder. He cannot be that guy. You know, and he can't foul jump shoot. I love Brandon. A hell of a player. He's got a hell of a future ahead of him. But I hope he watches this clip right now, me talking, because he needs to hear it. He's got to be a smart, tough, great decision maker, and he's very capable of it, but that's his next step. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video, Hoop Life Family.